In today's video, I'm gonna give you my experience investing my first $5,000 on my own back in 2016. Today, that $5,000 has grown to $13,000, but if I didn't make some classic mistakes that I'm about to share with you, it would be well over $26,000 today. What's up, my name's Maggie and I'm a certified financial planner that left a six-figure corporate job to create Money with Maggie, where I help beginners to learn to invest and feel confident in their financial life. I drop videos every Friday and offer one-on-one -on -one services. If you're tired of watching all the videos and doing it on your own, take a look at what I offer in the link below and let's get started. When I left Morgan Stanley and went to E-Trade in 2016, I had about $5,000 in a 401k that I rolled over to an IRA. Now, the money was in cash after I moved it, so I had to get it invested. I decided to buy five individual stocks for $1,000 each, and I did really good researching and choosing good companies. I bought into five companies that I used and believed would be around for a long time. The stocks were Facebook, Amazon, Starbucks, Tesla, and I can't remember the last one, but I think it was Nike. After just a couple of months, I freaked out and sold them all when they started dropping. This was my first time experiencing a market dip, and I was terrified that I was gonna lose everything. I was listening to the news every day because it was playing in the office, so I was very exposed to all the fear tactics that they would use. My plan was to sell and then buy again when the stocks dropped even lower. Has anyone else had this thought? Let me know in the comments below if so. Then I saw that Amazon was scheduled to report earnings and they were expected to do really well. So I decided that I would just buy into Amazon in hopes that I would recover my losses. And I remember watching the news all day when I got invested. I hardly did any work. I just watched my money go up and down throughout the day. And earnings were reported after the close of the market and immediately the stock dropped around 15%. And of course I freaked out. I totally lost touch with the fact that the money was invested for retirement. I wouldn't be using it for 30 years. I forgot everything I knew and I let my emotions creep in and overtake me. The next morning I came into work and I remember Jim Cramer in the newsroom. They had the lights dimmed, dramatic music playing and stocks in general weren't doing well at this time. And I remember him clearly saying, owning Amazon right now is like catching a falling knife. And of course, I just went and sold it immediately and it was trading around $500 at this time. Now again, I had to decide what to do with this cash. So I just thought to myself, Facebook was not going anywhere. I used Facebook every day and so I took the remaining money I had and I bought into Facebook. This time I told myself, leave it the freak alone. I was able to finally listen to that and it's probably because the market started to come back. So of course it was much easier to just leave it. I think a lot of people end up making this mistake and selling something just because it's going down in price with the hope of buying in at a lower price point. The problem is when do we get back in? It's incredibly difficult to buy into a stock when they're dropping. And when they start to go back up, we think we'll wait till it drops again and it just continues this really hard cycle to break. During this entire process, I learned a lot, mostly what not to do, but I did gain confidence in how investing works through that whole process. I know what it's like to start from scratch, to figure things out on your own, to look at others and know that you can figure it out, but just have no idea where to even start. I've been there. It's not pretty as you can see from the mistakes I made. Now, between my husband and I, we have over $600,000 and at least 200 of that is from investment returns. My husband had around $70,000 in cash, not invested when I met him. Next week, I'm gonna be bringing him onto the channel and asking him about his experience, learning to invest, about some of the mistakes that he made, but ultimately how we were able to keep going and get into a really good investment routine. So here's my invitation to you. If you've been waiting to invest, unsure of what you should be investing in, paralyzed by fear of losing money, and simply not living your best financially thriving life, head over to my website and take a look at my offerings. I just had an amazing course launch. Start Investing with Confidence is the name of my course, so you can learn more about that there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you're new here because it really supports my channel, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.